OneNote has a powerful and flexible system of templates to control the look and the content of your new pages. So we're going to have a look now at how to create a new page based on a template, also how to create a custom template, how to set a default template, applying a template to an existing page and deleting a custom template. So first of all, a new page based on a template. We just go to new page and click on the drop down arrow next to that. And then we'll, we can choose one of these templates that are showing or we can go to page templates and it will show all of our templates. So for example, I might go to academic and choose simple lecture notes. I can close this pane now. All right, and here's my new page based on that template. I can also create a custom template based on a page that I've created. So that might be content, or it might be something as simple as putting some grid lines in as I've done here. All right, and I'll do that under the view menu under rule lines. So I just used some grid lines on this one and I want, want to make that one into a custom template. And to do that, I'm going to go to the same place, page templates. and save current page as a template. Give it a name, so I'm going to call it grid. And I'm going to click save and just watch what happens over here. All right, I've now got a new section called my templates. Under my templates, we'll find the grid template. So now we can apply that to any other page that we want to. We can also choose to make our new template the default template for that section. All right, so under choose default template, we can Click our drop down and find our new template. Looking up the top, there's my new one, so I'll choose that. And that's now going to be the default template in this section. So if I close this and I can delete that one, let's say I go to a new page, there it is, it's got the grid on it. Now let's look at applying a template to an existing page. Let's say, for example, for some reason I wanted to have the grid template on this page. Well, technically you can't. However, we can do a workaround for this. If we, if we go to the page that we want the template on and select everything, to do that I go Control A, and in fact, Control A three times to get everything. Right, then I'm going to copy what's there and then go to a new page that's got the template on it, and then I'm going to paste into there. All right. And in effect, what I've done is created all of those notes on that template. Finally, let's look at how we can delete a custom template. So if I again go to the drop down next to new page, and I'm going to go to page templates, and the templates that I've created, the custom ones are under my templates. So if I expand that one, and now if I point to my custom template and right click and delete, that's it, it's gone. So to sum up, we've seen how to create a new page based on a template, how to create a new custom template. We've also set a default template for a section. We've learned how to apply a workaround to apply a template to an existing page. And lastly, how to delete our custom templates.